this is TCN English News Edition, and you're watching with me, Ning Kim Kong Sai. The headlines first. Violence broke out after suspension of one police head constable. Two dead, more than 25 injured, including two in ICU. Various organizations condemn firing at civilians, gives ultimatum to SP and DC to leave the district within 24 hours. News in detail. Yesterday, at around 6.30 p.m., a mob had gathered in front of DC office, mini secretariat, where a violent protest was ongoing till around 11 p.m. The mob protested against the injustice done towards the cookies of people where head constable, Manipur police, Samlal Pool was being suspended by the SP of Jampur for a viral picture in which the constable had been found to take selfies with the village volunteers. To add to that, the constable was not engaged in any firing incident but was taking a random selfie with the volunteers, where all the military state forces and police officers aided and back up by the Mayday militias, around by tinkles and Mayday public to attack and vandalize the cookie people and their houses and properties. No actions has been taken against them. During the protest, the SP of Church Jampur, Sivanan Survey, ordered the central forces to, to fire at the protesting mobs and where the central forces actually used live bullets to shoot at the mobs. Many of the protesters were injured and two are reported to be dead. Ambulances took the injured to district hospitals where most of them were given first aid and sent back home, but few of the seriously injured were admitted in the seats in the district hospital. The deceased were identified as Tangolin Halkip, son of Seilal Halkip, 13 years, hailing from Eskanaveng, Tuibo, and Let Lalkul Gangte, son of Kamkumang Gangte, hailing from Nalong village, Jirchampur district. As per information received from hospital staff, as of now, nine patients are admitted in the surgical ward, four patients in the ortho ward, and two patients in ICU ward. The injured from the surgical wards were identified as Tangza, 32 years from district headquarters, Nielsen, 20 years from L. Dekampai, Kaimila, 32 years from Gamuching, Tangboy, 26 years from Tuibo, Zomlin, 24 years from Songza, Minjun, 16 years from Tuino, Choi Sang, 34 years from Headquarter of Veng, Zangboy, 26 years from Tuibong, and Tanglal, 34 years from Tuibong. The victims were reported to sustain bullet injuries in various parts of the body, including the eye and victim Kaimilali's role in role for operation due to sustaining bullet injury in the pelvic region and his situation is reported to be quite critical. The patients admitted in the ortho ward were identified as Joshua Mwanlalin, 17 years from New Zouveng, Mwanlalin, 25 years from Deep Pailin, Paulin Mang, 19 years from Piska, and Lam David Gangti, 24 years from Tuibo. One of the victims in the ortho ward had been physically assaulted by the central forces where he was hit several times on the head and beaten up mercilessly and was deserted after getting unconscious where he was later found and taken to the hospital by the KKL ambulance. The two patients admitted in the ICU ward were identified as Lam Gin Mang, 37 years from Bulzo and he is also in need of emergency operations since his right thigh bone had been broken while getting shot by the central forces yesterday night. Hamilin, 35 years from Yi Pai Tram, is the another victim in the ICU ward and he is in a dead or alive situation. He sustains bullet injury in the right arm and thigh where both the arm and thigh bone were broken as shown by the x-ray result. His veins and arteries were also torn and completely broken by the bullet and he has been bleeding continuously. He is also in a state of shock and is likely to get paralyzed for a lifetime. Though there are so many casualties and two deceased, the central government and state government have not said a word yet. Not even a letter of grievance or sorrow which makes the public dope the democratic principles of the country.
The government tends to be biased towards one community, and this is very much against the democratic policies of the country. As we can see, the government under Biran had caused the life and blood of innocent cookies away gained, and this is also enough to reason to separate the cookie and mayday in terms of governance and territorial lands. Another source says that the Deputy Commissioner Darun Kumar S. IAS gave a shoot at site order, which led to three dead and hundred critically injured at Lamka tonight, that 15 to 2024. The incident happened after the superintendent of police of Sri Chapu district, Sivana Service, suspended a police officer for clicking photos with cookies of various volunteers. The protesters alleged that while the chief minister Amberan Singh and MP Sanazal Ba have often clicked photos with around by angles, and while Manipur commandos have also openly fought side by side with UNLF and Arambais, there has been no case of suspensions. They allege that any Manipur institutions runs only for the interest of Maydays. What angered the protester more was that when the cookies of civil societies met the SP this evening, he arrogantly dismissed them and said that action would be taken against the officer by enemies. Thus, the irate mob burned down police vehicles parked outside the DC's office. The problem in Manipur now is that of spa has been removed from the valley while it is strictly enforced in the hills. While the Assam rifles were supposed to fight, first give warning even under the AFSPA. They directly shot at the protesters causing heavy casualties. It has also been alleged that a major sepoy among the Assam rifles was seen directly shooting at the crowd. Meanwhile, Anger father by the heavy casualty, the mob set a blast to DC's office and bungalow, which they saw as a symbol of military hegemony and atrocities. The situation demands a proper judicial inquiry and a lack of faith in the justness of the Indian government will not abode well for the sensitive border stake. Reporting from District Hospital, I am Dignate Kim Haukip, a reporter from TCN office, and I am here with my videographer, Sisi Mangte. Today we are going to brief you uh, regarding the situations of the injured persons who were injured last night while fighting, while protesting in front of the DC office um, due to the suspension of Head Constable Siamlal Paul Gangte. The situation which started last evening at around 6.30 p.m. in front of Mini Secretary Tui Bumpi's ground. There has been report that the armies has been firing live bullets uh, towards the protesting mobs where so many of them had been injured and two killed. This unfortunate situation calls for the action of the central government. Right now we are here at District Hospital visiting the uh, casualties and as per report from the staff, eight of the injured persons are now in the surgery ward, two in the ICU ward and four in the ortho ward. So many of them had been given first aid last night and had been sent home and only uh, the ones that are very serious are admitted to the hospital. So the casualty has uh, mounted to around 25 plus. And also two of the victims died soon after uh, being hit by the uh, bullets. The injured sustained bullet injuries in different parts of the body and two of them are waiting to be operated right now. I am here at District Hospital Surgery Ward visiting the victim, uh, Minjon from Tuinom. He is sustaining a bullet injury in the uh, right femur, uh, in the thigh bone. And right now he is uh, feeling uh, much better, but still in a very, very critical condition. We hope for the best. We would like to ask him a few questions. Uh, Minjon, Zanha uh, Nongho Peace ground ana protest na chipa da vazo a situation iptm nang ge dana nyo khat highlight in bolpit hai dio ham ke zo ma zo ngai pon na kachi ven eti chun komun ve le ja som nam ta se lang na eti chun komol zing ven kar ho kana hal ven ba le eti government te kar ho kan su si ven the government is going to be able to get the government. The DC office can have a office. The DC can have a house. 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 The 
As we heard from the victim, uh, during the night when the armies were shooting live bullets at the protesting mobs, the situation has escalated while all the mobs have been fleeing and so many of them are injured, but due to the condition, okay, uh, Tua ba na kan doon umsuna? Nangin government ko ma hitabang discrimination based at hilso hi ipin na sa inumam. Ito, may hitiyo, igal tiyo ti tao dyan na. Ama ho ba na sape ho, polis ho ba na. Gal ka mo ba ito ba na. Ima ta sa ilo ba ba eh ho polis ka. Galong ka lo ima bolo ita he. Lima hong doa may may le. Ama azing wang na. Sabang hiya, aki malhin na. Puang aki punas he jing. Mm. Uh, as we have heard from the victim, he also says that this is a very, very biased condition where uh, a cookie policeman is just uh, a cookie policeman who just got viral due to a picture with uh, the village volunteer is being suspended while the, Manip uh, while the Manipur police, the Meite police and the Meite commandos who are assisting the mobs to vandalize the properties of the cookie and even any hill the cookie people in the Infal district are, uh, are not being judged or no legal action has been taken against them. So this is a big question for the central government how the democratic uh, rules and also one more thing is that till now no condolence or no grievances has been heard from the state government which strongly proof which is a living proof to show that the state government is being biased on the Meite while they uh, give no care about the victims of the cookie zoo people who are uh, who are seriously injured and are, and are hospitalized uh, due to their bullet injuries which are being fired by the center forces now with the second victim, Mr. Tanglal from Tuibung, he is sustaining an injury in the right eye and uh, it is not known whether this is caused by a, a, a rubber bullet or by tear gas. So we would like to ask him a few questions. <laughs> Mr. Tanglal also greatly condemns the uh, actions of the central forces. He also greatly condemns the actions of the central forces who doesn't do anything to the Manipur police in the valley who are uh, doing such atrocious acts to the Kuki people. We will ask and we would like to request justice from the central government. Now we are at the old toward and this is uh, Mr. Mamang, who is also a victim of last night incident. According to him, uh, he has been hit on the head by the uh, center forces while fleeing the spot. And why is he being hit on the head when he is just a protester, an armless protester protesting against injustice done to his people? So this is also another question to the government, why they have to use force and use guns to hit an armless protester. The Indigenous Tribal Leaders Forum, ITL of Holes, the news SP of Lamka, Sivana Survey, and a deputy commissioner as Darwin Kumar, entirely responsible for the incident on the night of the February 15, 2024, in the district, where two persons were shot dead by security forces and at least 25 others seriously injured after civilians came out in the streets to protest against the unjust treatment of a tribal official. It is later, the ideal of state that, as high-ranking officials, the SP and DC are fully aware of the nature of the conflict in Manipur and the sensitiveness involved on the ground. But that did not stop them from acting in a manner that would lead to tension and violence. Therefore, Sivanan Survey and S. Darun Kumar turned out to be the key instruments inserted by Communal Chief Minister and Biran Singh to create problems in the hill district of Lamka. The Indigenous Tribal Leaders Forum ITLF hold an emergency meeting in the morning of the 16th February 2024 at the KKL complex Lamka. All tribe, philanthropic, student leaders and conveners of ITLF came together for deliberations and the following decisions were taken. 
the district administration should cancel the suspension of head constable Samuel Po immediately. The SP of Chapur, Sivana Survey should leave the district within 24 hours. As the firing order on civilian is done by the district magistrate, the DC of Chapur, as Darun Kumar, should also leave the district within 24 hours. If the suspensions of the head constable is not cancelled within 24 hours and that, if the SP and DC do not leave the district within 24 hours, all government offices shall be closed. But the SP and DC will bear the responsibilities for any untoward incidents that may fall on them. The DC and SP should be replaced by Union Territory cadres, preferably from the Kukizo community, by the central government. ITL ITLF legal shells should take up all legal procedures regarding those killed and injured by the security forces. All that were killed by the security forces on the night of 15 February 2024 will be considered as cookies or martyrs and will be buried after all necessary actions. Due procedures and agreements with the government are completed. Inquiries should be initiated on all security force personnel who were involved in the firing of civilians and should be punished as per the law. RMLS should be involved in the situations and take up all the issues to the government. Philanthropic organizations will look after all the injured. The 15 February 2024 public uprising and killings by the security forces will be called the Wall of Remembrance Massacre. The Kuki National Assembly, Northeast India, strongly condemns the biased actions of the Charitapur Superintendent of Police, Sivanan Survey, and the Deputy Commissioner S. Darun Kumar, who have failed in their duty to protect the civilians of Charitapur, Manipur. We hold both the SP and the DC responsible for the tragic incidents where central forces indiscriminately fired upon civilians, resulting in the loss of lives and numerous casualties. It is appalling that the SP acted swiftly to suspend the Chirichampur police head constable based solely on the video clip, while the DC gave firing orders to the civilians without facing any consequences. Moreover, concrete evidence implicates Mayday police and commandos in shooting cookie civilians and burning down their homes without facing any consequences. This bias is unacceptable and undermines justice and fairness. We demand an immediate judicial inquiry into the firing incidents by the central forces, as well as an inquiry into the actions of the military police and commandos to hold all responsible parties accountable and ensure justice for the victims. The Cookie National Assembly of Northeast India stands united against such discriminations and calls for transparency and accountability in all the law enforcement actions to prevent further injustices. Koto Medical Department successfully conducted first aid training for different medical teams within Kampukpi district yesterday and provided medicines to the participating medical teams. Different medical teams participating in the first aid training were Piling Mool Area Medical Team, Bungpi Area Medical Team, Cycle Medical Team, Kong Home Area Medical Team, Leimakung Area Medical Team, and Kangchup Area Medical Team, respectively, totaling about 40 delegates. Pastor Kamboy Vaipei opened the training by dedicating it to God, and a short interaction was also held before the commencement of the training. Helen Kipgen, convener of to Medical Team, welcomes all the participating medical teams and appreciate all for doing their best until today. He said, God has been good to us by protecting us from enemies. All these are made possible because of our unceasing prayers. He also expressed gratitude to all who had extended help, which enabled our volunteers and you to be treated on time. Medical being the second line of defense, he urged everyone to work with unity. During the interactions, grievances from various areas were discussed and mostly resolved the following. Anyone injured to be informed to area-wise committee or defense 
and from them go to medical department will do the needful go to medical to ensure proper transportation to office and from here area wise committee will to take needed action as medical has financial shortage, donations by judges of Kampuk P district to submit the donations by last Sunday of every month. Pastors and church leaders are requested to comply with a revised resolution. The first age training was done under Dr. Hagen, Irene Titim Kibge, senior nurse and Vavoy staff nurse, hands-on training, stitching, oxygen handling, etc. We are also done during the training. With the conclusions of the training, first aid kits and medicines were distributed to area west delegates. The convener thanked all those involved in the process, namely Kukiso Christian Relief Committee, Leimakong Area Protections Committee, LAPC, SHIPS, James Kipgam, KWU, Tingnay Jong Kipgam, respectively. The Lom Hlang Som in a press release on 15 February 2024 states that the issue of so claimed sacred hills by the Maytes and wrong interpretations as sacred place for the Maytes who burned down 200 charges in Maytes, majority in Fall Valley is totally false and biased. It is hereby clarified by the Lom Hlang Som, traditional Zou ethnic cookie used dormitory club as under. Under the initiations of Lom Hlang Som and escorted by various volunteers, the public of the region installed a cross at historical and traditional Kuki religion spot, Tamting, located within Ukaloi Kal, village of Kuki Hills, India, Outer Manipur. That the safe spot is located within Kuki Hills of Hawkeye Reserve of 1970, land holding right issues by the British colonial government and the Manipur Hill Durbar. Acknowledged by the government of Manipur by the Hill Misk, major number one of 1974. The release father reads The land holding document or Pata of Ukaloi Kai village had been seized by the Lom Hlang Som so that the government of Manipur can no longer disturb the chief. Tangting has been the abode of the cookies since 1770s, situated and located within the jurisdictions of Hockey Reserve of Ukaloi Kai village centuries before the creation of Manipur State in 1972. The release also states that before the advent of Christianity, the spot has been the sacred site of Kuki traditional religion, Nungzai Patin, for centuries. The maidens who settled on the valley later on in brass and coal as Ibut Hautangzi. The government of Manipur forcefully acquired gold brew, two hectares from Saitu village of Kangpupi district, and Tangting measuring four hectares respectively by the Manipur gadget info. Tuesday, December 1st, 2020, dated 26 November 2020. The release father is Ting Kumang Hokip, chief of Ukaloi Kai village, has submitted a complaint later addressed to the Commissioner Arts and Culture. Government of Manipur, India, dated 1st January 2021, YDRR number 54 dated 19-1-2021 and dated July 27, 2022, YDRR number 8 dated 27 July 2022, 20-22 respectively. In this regard, the owner and chief of Okaloikal did not issue no objection certificate NOC for the same, regarding the complaint of the public to the chief of Okailoi Kai Village, Tin Kumang Haukip, research officer, HR Mina Vaidi, F number NCST DEV 1217 MN6 2022 ESDW, dated the 19th July 2023, issued an order of investigations. The release father states that it would how Tangzing of May Day, Sanamaha. Sana Mahisim, who claimed Tangting Tangzing for Mede version as Mede sacred site is a unique traditional Mede religion. It is neither Hinduism nor Islam or Buddhism or Christianity. Today at around 10 in the morning, the KSO Sangaikot blog inaugurate the KSO Community School Sangaikot. 
This community school was run mainly for the IDP students who cannot afford to attend school since the Ngaikot area is a front line and making a livelihood become a hard situation which in turn greatly affect the education of poor students. The KSO Sangaikot block mainly focused to uplift the situations of the poor students to this community school. Around 360 students, six admissions today, and the school runs from class preparatory to class 8. 13 teachers and one non-teaching staff are employed as of now to run the school. This community school will provide high quality and up-to-date educational standard for all the students. Firing and gunshot sounds are still prevailing in the Sangai Kot area, but that doesn't dishearten us from focusing in the educational field. This non-profit school is a success due to the hard work of our KSOs. Also, the resolution taken by the government school headmaster on 18 January at KIC Complex Lamka should be put in mind and follow. Admission fee and tuition fee are free for the enrolled students. Anyone willing to give a helping hand for the smooth running of the community school are always welcome, says M. Paukusat Hokip, Secretary of Education, KSO Sangai Kot Block. It has been reported that daily normal activities of the denizens of Moret Town has been greatly affected. Curfew has been relaxed at Moret Town from 6 a.m. to till 10 a.m. today. Daily life of the people of Moret Town has been greatly affected owing to uh, sorties of curfew relaxations, daily activities like marketing, business, and other means of livelihood came to hold, and as such, people are under great heresy. As the town is famous for business establishments, almost no business transactions could be carried out. If the situation continues like this, people are in the apprehensions that most of the dead reported will be of starvation and not that of war reported by the people. Moreover, students cannot continue their studies and if they continue so, will there not be any disturbances, asked the people. The presence of combined force of Mede CDO and Aram by Tingo create a fear psychosis among the people of the town. Their presence not only create fear psychosis among the people, students cannot continue their schooling due to fear of them. Therefore, people of the town are leaders of CSO to come forward and do the needful in order that students go to school and continue their studies without any fear in their mind. Here is a brief report of the situation of Moret Town at present. To ni date 15 February 2024 ni ko inzong Moret kusunga karfu achil ha signalizing. So le karfu timing he ni dang to kibangin jingka apungko mapat na pungsom sa na karfu he kilha ong jing he in ahin la he chi i vet na he chun Moret kusunga dinga nga seding chun. Nee, let's say hold the lamp. Pihita hen lang. Sumle pay hold the lamp. Pihita zong le mizaw si he aboy so okay ta in. He si aboy ne kaw hilovin. Tu le tu din munzi nga he event na he le. School sa pang hazong kaithe diu hi nam kaithe lo di ham ti zong he. Mi pizaw si ako na big koy sa ne he inchi he. He si isun kusong alam kay ho he ta hen lang koy koy he ta zong le. Tu karfiu pet zi nga zong relax pet zi nga zong he. He iga event na he chun. He si iga event leo chun koy masam lo he in. Kau yang macam hari ngam lewa hein, tu aku mau hein mori bazar lai tak hein, hece lai mun hein ni dang pat dang lai azong, mail hein om lo nung azong tu ijan game kan ami hein, nom tak hein kuah nama na nak kuasa zing hein ahin lah, tu ni kuah hein na hein le, mi om lo namun abang zing tak hein cihi pizi hami tia hein, car few timing om bangin, media kah hizing kah hizing bangovin media zing caj azong, itu seide ham. Kopi dalam kai hotel kita mana lah asam jezong hinantin, cina cung 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 army halang apa nih ijan ham hadin, cile vale nih hak sama majing nih le, ke hotel gayong cile vale nih hak sana hijun, kopi sunga, nunau cepang hoi tahen lang elor sumle pay hotel dalam pihit azong le ijan gayam kat na, ala asam ding he, ginjat jong awmin tak sana muncul le tuin muthen jong awmin nih, hezi ijun sumle pay nih lecak hotel dalam pi ala sama hijun Eh, wahai, 
গালা হে তলা কে লা হুম থি থে দিন মুনা হি তা ইন হেচে হে কপি লম কাই হই তা হেন লং আলম লমা লম কাই হে তা হেন লং চৌ তিং ল মিপি হো এখি লুম খা নাই তাই তি হি তু নি তি সি নেট ওয়া কো না কভার কিন বোলো হিন তিন আই নথে চানা খাটলে খাট কিলুং তু উত আ ইপন খোম ই খো সাক লোবা হি লে হেচে হি বই না সাংত আলু থে হি তি গেল হোম চে ইন পনল হোম চে উঠে তি চৌ তু নি আপ না আপে আিসি নেট ওয়া পাত না কভার কিন বোলো হে That's all from us tonight. See you again.